Hey Clashers, Community Manager Darian Vorlick back again with another Town Hall 12 preview. So in today's preview, we're going to be discussing some of the quality of life changes that will be going to the game when Town Hall 12 releases. Now this update is just around the corner. As you guys might be well aware, that it's the biggest update that we've done for the main village in two and a half years. So there is a lot of content that's coming out really soon. It is just on the horizon. This first quality of life improvement is something that you guys have been asking for for a really long time. Additional name changes. Yes, we are going to be putting additional name changes into the game. So there are a few caveats to this though. We wanted to make sure that players are carefully considering their identity and the actions that they choose to associate with their in-game identity. So if you've already used your free name changes in the game, your first name change will cost 500 gems. Each additional name change after that will have an increasing price of 500 gems per name change. So the first one will be 500, the second one will be 1,000, the third will be 1,500, and so forth. And the maximum price that will reach is 10,000 gems per name change. Again, the reason behind this is that we wanted players to very carefully consider why they're making their name change. And also it helps keep um, clans keep track of members in their clan uh, roster. So for example, if I'm changing my name you know, every other week, it'd be impossible for a lot of the clan members to keep track of who they're playing with. Is this the same person that they've been playing with all this time? So that's also why we've done one more thing. Each name change will have a one week cooldown. So seven days before you can make your next name change. Now for the next quality of life improvement, Clan Castle Sleep Mode. So when Town Hall 12 goes live, you will have a new toggle for your Clan Castle. You can set it to Guard or Sleep Mode. Now if it's in Guard Mode, it will function the way it has in the past. When someone attacks your base, your Clan Castle troop reinforcements will deploy to help defend your base. However, if you put your Clan Castle in Sleep Mode, what this means is that your clan castle troops will not come out when you get attacked. And the reason behind this is, you know, we know how frustrating it can be. Let's say, you know, you're prepping for a clan war. You just got your clan castle troop reinforcement, but for whatever reason, you can't do your attack right now. You need to log off knowing that your shield is going to run out and you're going to lose your clan troops or clan castle troops when you get attacked. This way, when you set it into sleep mode, you're preserving your clan castle troops until you actually need them. So when you log back into the game, if you set your clan castle to sleep mode, your clan castle troops will still be there, ready for attacking. Another really cool feature that's coming with this update is the new copy village layout functionality. So, Let's say you visit one of your clan mates and you realize that he's got or she's got this really cool base that's really good against defending against queen walks or farming attacks or, you know, it's, it's an anti three star war base. Now we know that, you know, manually changing your village layout can be a very time consuming endeavor. So with this new functionality, when you visit one of your clan mates, simply hit the copy layout button and you can instantly copy that base. So there are a few limitations. One, for the main village, you have to be at least Town Hall level four. When it comes to the builder base, you have to be Builder Hall level four. Now there's one additional restriction to this. The village that you copy can only be one level higher or one level lower than your current village level. So for example, if I'm a Town Hall nine, I can copy one of my clan mates, Town Hall tens, or Town Hall 8s. I will not be able to copy their Town Hall 11 or Town Hall 7. So again, that level difference is plus one or minus one. Hopefully this new feature will save you guys precious time when you're redoing your base, you know, prepping for a clan war, or you see a really cool base that one of your clan mates has. You know, being able to copy that saves a lot of time. Now there are a couple improvements that are going into the clan games. So the first one is when Town Hall 12 launches, 
there are going to be a number of new challenges specific to Town Hall 12 content, whether it's using the siege machines and so forth. Now, the big quality of life improvement is this, and this is something that you guys have been asking for for a long time. So when the clan games finish, the leaderboard usually disappears. So now, when the clan games end, that leaderboard will still remain visible. Furthermore, when the clan games end, there will be a new timer counting down how many days you have left to claim your clan games rewards. So you can now see how much time, even though the limit is seven days to claim your rewards, you can now see how much time you have left to claim them. So the war tools are a new feature in Clash of Clans that's still in its relative infancy. We are making additional improvements and we're going to continue to make additional improvements to this tool. With the Town Hall 12 release, we've got one minor update to how the war tools function. So when you're looking at your clan war map, you have the ability to claim enemy bases. However, now going forward, if an attacker has used both of their attacks, the flags or the claims that that person had made, those claims will now automatically be removed from the clan war map. So we've got just a couple more minor quality of life improvements. So the first one is your in-game notifications. One of the things that we added to the uh, settings menu, if you go to more settings, is that you can actually set what kind of in-game notifications you receive. If you want to only receive clan war notifications, or if you only want to receive clan games, you can set it to that. So there'll be different toggle switches and filters on how you set your in-game notifications. So it just kind of lets you know, gives you the ability to, you know, choose what notifications you want in-game. So these last quality of life improvements are minor ones. The first one is sharing replays. In the past, the cooldown on sharing replays has been 30 minutes. That cooldown has now been reduced to five minutes. So this lets you share replays much more quickly. The second and final quality of life improvement is regarding the power potions. So in the past, whenever you've activated your power potion, and for whatever reason, you know, we've had to go into server maintenance. And sometimes, you know, things happen. Sometimes we have bugs that need fixing. Sometimes we need to uh, do some maintenance to prep for the next clan games. So for whatever the reason, when you activate your power potion, if we have to go into maintenance, the power potion timer will properly pause. So when you next log into the game, that timer on the power potion will basically continue where it left off. So that wraps up today's sneak peek into the Town Hall 12 update. Like I said, Town Hall 12 is just over the horizon. It's coming soon, but we do have a few more sneak peeks for you guys this week with one really big one at the very end. Hope you guys are excited. I know we're excited and we can't wait to see you know, what kind of new strategies, attacks, new defenses, uh, new ways of playing the game. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with and how it's going to change how you guys play Clash of Clans. So hopefully you guys enjoy this update. See you at the next one.